All right, what's up? Tim Sykes here with Mariana. How Hi, guys. Doing? Good. I'm Jack's good. girlfriend, independent woman, <laughs> first six figure female student. Congratulations. Thank you. High five. That's crazy. <laughs> Everyone wish her congratulations. Like, what did you start with? Just to just so everyone understands your story for a second. I only started with fifteen thousand. Lost like the first few months. I lost like three thousand. Okay. Like the first few months since October. Were you sad? Yeah, I was really sad because I thought I was up on the month, and yeah. then I looked at my account, oh. and I was suddenly down. So that was like Damn. super demoralizing for a little bit. Yeah. But yeah. Then I like knew like I had to like switch something, and then I started really like kind of started to get the things of it. Did you learn to like just take the meat of the move and cut losses quickly and not yeah. worry about extra stuff that you might miss? Being very conservative, like since the beginning, I've always really known that if you kind of like eliminate the risk, that can help you with the emotions in the market as well. I mean, you can never fully eliminate mm -hmm. the risk. There's always a risk of loss. Again, 90% plus of traders lose. We have to disclaim that. I mean, most people would lose the 3,000 and they might quit or they might give up or they might just, you know, not really change. What made you change from losing at first to succeeding? It was just kind of realizing that I had to like change something about my trading. I knew that I was doing something wrong and yeah. studying a lot more and studying about my own trading really helped me a lot and just starting to realize in screen time, watching just a lot of the market, just watching all of the plays kind of like turn around and just seeing how I can like do better and what works best for me. Did you me. paper trade or did you take small positions or did you just watch the market? I was trading small positions and trading mostly OTCs. That's what cost me the commissions at first. And yeah. that's when like I started losing. Yeah. But then I realized that I had to like stop over trading that much and yeah. just keep using like the same amount of size I used, but start kind of like incre incrementing like a little bit as I went. Nice. So you sized up and now what, 25,000 last week? 25,000 last week. And the week, week before was like 16,000? It was about 24,000. 24,000? Yeah. And then the first week was like around 16,000. That was for like the first week. This is all in December. That's of all in 2020. December. It has never happened before. 16, 24, 25. Yep. In the last video, you know, I was saying with Kyle, like this is not a normal market. So like 25,000 you made last week, 24,000, 16,000. And what was it like before that? Cause I mean, now you're up what, 140,000 mm -hmm. and basically half your profits all have happened in the past three weeks. All of them. And have how, how many years have you been studying? I've been studying this whole year pretty much. So like a mm -hmm. year and then everything comes together. Mm -hmm. And it's really, you know, this is what I like to say, you know, preparation meets opportunity, right? Leave that comment underneath saying, Preparation meets opportunity. Congrats to Mariana. What do you think most people need to do right now if they were just getting started? Because you had the benefit of like kind of being there where it was like a little slower and now it's just insane, right? So many plays every day. What if someone's starting right now? What should they do? I think it's the exact same progress, just getting the exact same screen time no matter what market you're in. You have to still be able to like see all of the plays and just take it easy at first because you know that you will lose, but you will start to like find a way of what works best for you. So I say like people should start small at first because mm -hmm. if you know you're going to lose at first, which most traders do, you might as well lose small and not lose big. Like some people are like, oh, I'm not going to be one of those losers. Let me just start with a hundred thousand. And I'm like, no, do not start big because you're unprepared for the volatility. Is trading very different what you thought it would be? Like compare your mindset right now in December 2020 versus like January 2020. January 2020, I found it like it was super different for me. I thought it was kind of like a game. I was like super out of it. I didn't really know what it was. And now it's like completely different. It's totally a lifestyle and just a way of living every single day. It's a cutthroat mm -hmm. business, right? Mm -hmm. So like, do you wake up early and you're like, you're like playing Rocky music in the morning. You're almost thinking about it almost every day, even on the weekends. It just becomes like a part of it. Have you now. seen The Queen's Gambit on Netflix? I have, yes. Do you think very it's good. very similar where she's like dreaming up the chessboard mm -hmm. on the ceiling? Like I dream of stock charts. Does that make me weird? I don't know. <laughs> no, no. Do you dream really. of stock charts? I don't dream of them, but I, can, I always think of them. Right? I'm always thinking about them. Always. And that's what you had to be like. This is such a weird game where, where people watching this, like they have no idea what we're talking about. A lot of people are just beginning. They're like, what? I don't, I don't want that life. If you want to succeed in an industry where most people fail, like you have to take it extra seriously. If you've seen Queen's Gambit, like, you know, she didn't take it that seriously in the beginning. Like her mom was in it for like the money. Like mm -hmm. by the end, it's actually a beautiful series where she like progresses and like focuses on the art. Do you think that's the similar kind of thing? Like where people should really focus on the art and like, 
optimizing their process and you know a hundred thousand dollars or a hundred forty thousand that you made so far that's a good start but like is your eye on the prize for like bigger things no absolutely every single time it's always like in trading it's like you can make as much as you'd like just depends on how much work you're putting into it yeah. trading can give you exponential growth in every single way even as a person it can make you better but if you don't take it seriously mm -hmm. you'll just likely lose exactly so how do i get people to understand this and take it seriously like how do i create that you know dedication and skill set it's not going to be overnight absolutely not it's yeah. going to take some time it's going to be able to you you understand that yeah. you're you're a bad example because you're literally all in like a year and mm -hmm. like this is not a normal market like if people start no. right now like and, and maybe the market in 2021 isn't as hot and they'll be like but mariana did this in 2020 this mm -hmm. is not a normal market okay do you wish that you had had like more preparation? Like yeah. if you could go back in time? Absolutely. I wish I would have started like a few years because this market has been unbelievable. Yeah. The people that are the most prepared yeah. are going parabolic. So you see Jack, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And Jack has been preparing for like many years now. Yeah. What is he in? Year four? Year five? Mm -hmm. I don't even know. Something like that. What do you think about this chain? Do you like this chain? For Love him? it. Well, you like it? I like it. Right? He's going to wear it. You think he'll like it? I think so. All right. Let's talk about the surprise. So. She's in on it, FYI. <laughs> Don't trust your girlfriend and your wife because they're always like <laughs> planning things, surprises. This is a good thing, but I don't know why I said that. Um, what's the plan for today? The plan, yeah. so the plan is gonna be I'm giving Tim and his friends the keys the to Jack's apartment. Not friends, okay. elves. The elves to okay. Jack's apartment. Yeah. And they're gonna come in and they're gonna put all of the Christmas ornaments up and they will be there all dressed up and ready to go. So Jack is coming over to my place. He's gonna have some lunch and then we're gonna be arriving and everybody's just gonna be saying surprise. We're bringing the holidays to him because Jack works excessively hard. Very like hard. I saw him some platform or I don't know what he was saying and the other day where like he was just exhausted mm -hmm. and he was like, I just need a break. And so. We're, we're giving him that. Like, did he get a good night's sleep? Have it. you talked to him he today? He did, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So he's like, wait till you see what happens. But this is what I like doing. Do you like this idea? I love this idea. Because you've been in on no, this from the beginning. Awesome. Yep. Right? Like, I love it. We have elves flying in from all over the country. Some, some elves got delayed, unfortunately. <laughs> um, it's quarantine life. Mm -hmm. um, but what do you think, you know, Jack's... Uh, reaction is gonna be I think he's gonna love it because he hasn't seen his friends in a really long time yeah and like just seeing you and just the thought of like people flying for him it's yeah. gonna be I think he's gonna love it so I posted mm -hmm. that I'm in Philadelphia and literally he was like the <laughs> first saw, yeah. viewer on my story like and I was like I got you <laughs> I'm not in Philadelphia today and that was like two days ago so I had to throw like the misdirection mm -hmm. and then you I mean you're you're you have to like don't give it up when you're no. at lunch. Mm -mm. Do you have a good poker face? I'm good. No, I'll be straight face. Ready? No problem. Okay. Nope. You're not going to crack. No, I won't. <laughs> okay. That's good. I promise I won't. Because <laughs> we're going to film it all. We're, in the next video, you're going to see exactly how we surprise him. We're going to see his reaction. But understand, like, a million dollars in profits, and now he's at 1.5, which is crazy. I didn't even, I wasn't even he's able like to. He's like 1.7. What? He's like 1.7 now. He just posted on his profit leak. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? 1.68. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> this is not a normal market, okay? Most traders lose. I have, I have to reinforce this. Most traders lose. Not everyone's gonna do this. Jack has had no life whatsoever. Let me just go back for a second. Like when you met Jack and you guys met at mm -hmm. my conference, so I'm pretty happy to play like matchmaker, you know. How dedicated was he as like a, a trader or a student back then? Super dedicated. Has he gotten more? Yeah. Has he been like, like you're like, yo, let's go out. And he's like, no, I'm studying. <laughs> no, we're trading. Is that what he Well, says? the good thing is that we both trade. So we kind of both understand each other. That's like when good. It's, when it's like a tough day, then it's fine because I probably had a tough day too. So yeah. we understand just like the schedule's perfect. trading couple. <laughs> I don't know if this it's has good. ever happened before in history. Has it? No. I don't know <laughs> how this goes. I, you know. Fingers crossed, trading couple, right? Like, what if the market starts crashing and you're like, you guys aren't doing well, and then you're like fighting with each other and you're like, 
it's not us, it's the market. And then you're like, then maybe you have each other or even if the market starts crashing. I don't know, I, I don't know why I gravitate towards that. Maybe like you guys will both just be successful. Has he helped you be a better trader? Absolutely, his mindset always helps me a lot. And just you see like his discipline. Kind of like listening to him and just always having the conversations with him. It just kind of guides me in the right direction. What's like his number one rule? Because my number one rule is cut losses quickly. But what's his number one rule? Always progress. Whoa! Always get better. Always be better. Oh, I like that. And it, you're seeing him get better? Yeah, every single, every single day, I would say. Yeah. There's always You're learning a little something does. new. Yeah. And what time does he wake up? It depends, but he wakes up pretty early sometimes. Like what? Give me a number. Um, seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've heard earlier. I've mm -hmm. heard like six. It depends about the locates, though. Like if there's like a really big thing, then he's going to be like, okay, I'm waking up at like four. I gotcha. <laughs> Preparation helps. Mm -hmm. And this is frankly why I can't do West Coast because I don't like getting up at like three, mm -hmm. four or five in the morning. Like I literally just got up. Like this is my, like I like to sleep in, you know, when I can. And we're on the East Coast. This is also why I prefer Europe. Anyways, we have to get planning to this. Congratulations on Thank all your you. success. Thank you for being a part of this surprise. Let's see <laughs> if we can pull this off. And again, understand this is not a normal market. Click the link below. We're going to include a video that I just did with Kyle before this um, where he's doing well too. But Again, it's years of preparation, it's years of studying before you can have those consistent profits. If you don't have that preparation, like the stocks just move too fast and you're just mm -hmm. like, whoa, it's like a deer in headlights. So preparation is key and hopefully we can help you see that. Happy holidays. We're probably going to get this up after the holidays, but I hope you had a happy 2020 holidays. We're going to go bring Christmas to Jack Kellogg. Hi, everyone. This is Mariana, and I hope you all are enjoying some well-deserved time off. Thought it would be good if I filmed the new monthly recap so you guys could get a chance to watch it and process some information before the new year starts so you guys can all be ready. Honestly, this month, December 2020, I am super excited to talk about since it definitely has been the craziest one for me. And I also know many other traders that are on fire too. It's just best week, best day, best month. So, um, there's been a lot of opportunities every single day for me and especially in, on OTCs and dip buys have been very well this month. So I will talk a little about them and how I traded, especially a ticker that I was able to get very comfortable with throughout the month that just kept giving, giving opportunities, which was my favorite one. So... First of all, I'll talk a little bit about my stats. And on the left is my spreadsheet. This one I got from Michael Good. If you're on the Tim Challenge, you have access to it. So it shows um, the total profit on the month was 114,200, which keep in mind, like I said on my tweet, this is not my average month at all. I've been averaging about 10,000 on my previous Profitable, prof, profitable month since June of this year. And last year around December, I was down 2000 on my overall account. So this all happened very quick, but it also has a lot to do with the market presented, which as said by many traders, this is one of the hottest markets they have ever seen. And they have been around for decades. So the market definitely helped, helped us. And it's just up to us to take advantage of it. First ever six-figure month for me, but I was not expecting it, and I would have also been okay, been okay with my average month. But since I started getting comfortable with the strategies that work best for me, that's how December I was able to profit on some of these tickers that just followed the framework, Tim Sykes framework, just perfectly. So taking a look at my profit lead, this shows a lot of my stats and that's why I really like to look at it. This shows from December 1st to the last day of December. And I can type like any of the data range I want. So on here, it shows my average winning, tra winning trade of 631 and my average losing trade of 125. So my average gain is almost six times my average loss which for me, it's great since I know that I've been cutting my losses quicker because 
this is my style of trading and what works for me. I know that when I'm wrong, I will accept it and move on. And I, I know that I can always re-enter, but I'd rather be less emotional towards my small loss than to fight the stock and overstay. So I've taken a lot of trades this month. Like you, I'm pretty sure not a lot of traders take this amount of trades. It's a little over 200. So that's a lot of trades. But again, since I cut my, I cut many times and re-enter when proven right, that includes many scratch trades around, along the way. But I've seen that this has worked for me. Maybe not for you, but once you, but once you, but once you keep trading, you'll start seeing what feels better for you. Uh, also on my stats, it shows that my average percent gain for this month is around five to six percent. So I do cut gains also quickly as well. That's just, and like you can see, I do not short also. So I've, I only took one short trade, which was for negative $43. This is all going long and all of them mostly also from OTCs. Like I said, this market, it has showed us that this is a buyer's type of market, crazy amount of runners and percentages. So it will slow down, but while it doesn't, it's good to be trading them because the opportunities are almost every single day. So now I want to talk about one of the charts. And this was actually one of the best ever tickers for me. And like I said, my favorite patterns are dip buying, but I didn't really find this out after I practiced a lot of them throughout the months. And I knew that in December, I wanted to start sizing up on them a little bit because I knew that I had already traded them a bunch of times. So the um, this ticker started from sub penny all the way until a high of 36 cents, which is almost 30,000%. And the first time I actually got interested in this ticker was on 11.17. I was looking for the panic dip buy because it made the penny land and it was already extended for me. Obviously, if you look at this chart, you may see that it may have not been as extended as it got to, but on that day, it provided a very well opportunity. So since the first start of the run, I was already getting a feel for the stock and it was a clean panic. If you guys can look back into that day, you guys can see how well it also panicked and I was able to profit on it. So once this chart actually started um, starting the run again on the breakout, I don't think I had many trades on, on, on the breakout days, but I did start panic dip buying it on, on the 1st of December. And when you guys see, you're waiting for the panic since it was already extended and sure enough the next two days it panicked and it was clean so i kept the stock on radar for the rest of the month and it was just rinse and repeat every single day for the rest of the month i knew that it could provide more opportunity it went on a third run again and it just kept it just kept showing opportunities just every single day so this ticker actually so this ticker, it made up about one third of my month, which I've never had this profitable ticker in my career. So it was really good because I know that I was comfortable with it. And I know that in the future, I will be looking for this ex same, same exact chart. And I know the type of opportunities this can give. So I still watch it. I do still watch it, but it's not it's on a different part of the framework. So it's no longer a number one watch for me. I did trade it this day here for a panic dip buy, but then again, it's not like the first run where you know that it's on the first start. So that was TSNP for me. And now I want to talk a little about some other charts that I also traded that were the exact same opportunities again for panic dip buys, 
and I do still trade the breakouts and I trade the first green days and I, but um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm still like trading them, but I'm not taking the same size as I would on the panic dip buy. So the first one is S4 and I just want you guys to see the daily charts and just to get familiar because this you will see on every single one of the charts that I'm about to show you. So if you're prepared for one of them, the second one will be easier, the third one will be better, and so on until you keep practicing. So S4, 12, 14, this was, started providing some nice opportunities. I also traded this one. I think I kept it on watch for all, for all of the other days. And MMEDF was also another one, which, was beautiful too. This got to 507 and this was also on on 12:14. That day I was also trading it for the panic dip buy. So extended. Then other one is RVVTF. Same exact chart pattern as the other one. I was watching for the panic dip buy, for intraday dip buys, and for the first green day also. I'm pretty sure I traded this one. And I still keep these on watch because they can also set up for later because they've already proven that they can go on big runs. So you would want to keep them on watch in case they want to go for another run. So you can be before everyone if you're already keeping them on radar. The other one is SHRMF. Yeah, and the last one is ARCS. So you guys see it's the exact same chart. ARCS did get halted. Uh, that's why I had the big gap down. So you still have to be careful as these stocks will all go back to where they came from. But the opportunities they can show on the front side are good and it's the and as they get extended, and would be nice to study them since they all show the same patterns and the same framework that Tim Sykes teaches. So those are a few charts that it would be nice for you guys to go back and just rewatch them and rewatch them as that can create like the practice and you guys can trade it better as they come around. So that is what I had for, for the charts and what I traded for this month. And now I want to talk a little about a few things I'll be working on going into 2021. Like 2020, really, I was not expecting this kind of exponential growth. And I'm always thinking of it as, as college because I graduated not too long ago. So... I really was not expecting this kind of growth, but as I said already in the video, the market has helped me tremendously in just studying and going over and practicing the patterns that I'm comfortable with. But I do have one pattern I'm the most comfortable with, with, which I've already said, or panic dip by. So one of my goals for 2021 is getting more comfortable with other patterns. I don't short. Everything is mostly going long. Sometimes I'll short NASDAQs, but I do want to maybe like get like another broker because I do know that all of the OTCs can also create a lot of different opportunities. So even if it's a buyer's market, I think it's another very predictable pattern that I think I could get used to and maybe size up on, on other strategies that I'm just not as comfortable because I don't have the amount of practice I do. So that is one of the things I want to look into for 2021. Another thing would be sizing up. I think this this is just something that is on every trader's list since you can always improve based on where you are in your process. Every single day you can always make the same improvement and you can always tweak it up a little bit. And being prepared when the market shifts because this market 
like I've said, is very crazy. And like other traders have also said, this isn't a normal market. So I want to keep taking my singles and cutting my losses and just keeping my eye out to when I have to adapt because I never know and I don't want to be stuck in I don't want to be stuck in a bad position or in an emotional position. I want to be able to protect my gains, not just in 2021, but in forever. So that's all I have for you guys. This is my first monthly recap. I'll be making I'll be making them moving forward and I hope you guys enjoy it. And also good luck to everyone for 2021. I'm super excited, as you guys all should too. This month, this year has been crazy, and I know that next year will be too. Good luck.